How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review. There was no review yesterday, there was no video yesterday, so for that, I do apologise, but you can bet your bloody house on it. From now on, uploads each and every day, sometimes double uploads, because we've got a lot of catching up to do. International Man of the Matches, we're starting today with possibly the best cam on the game, Kevin De Bruyne's International Man of the Match card. Now, if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head over to g2a.com, use that code M89, get yourself a discount, every single link you'll need is right there in the description below. Now, in terms of price, 130 to 2.5 million on both the Xbox and the PlayStation in game stats. Look at some of these, 90 positioning, 80 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, so he is quite nippy. Strength, 85, aggression, 78, he is quite strong, he can hold his own, and that is a great trait to have for a cam on this game. Skill attributes blows other cams out of the water, 94 ball control, 97 crossing, 93 bloody dribbling, 89 finishing for a cam, that is very good, he scored 13 times in six games, sometimes on this game, cams, they, if their positioning is good, they can score more than strikers. De Bruyne, his positioning, his movement, unbloody real. The best for a cam on this game. That goal there was his first goal for the club. A nice chip over the top of the goalkeeper. I didn't even mean it. The controller was broken and it just chipped it automatically. Now, this goal sums up this card. Dribble, dribble, dribble. His dribbling is one of the best for a cam on this game. I know you got Hatton Ben Arthur with his five star skills, his high agility. De Bruyne, he's got the agility, he's got the balance, he's got the strength, he's got the ball control. Most importantly, he's got the dribbling. He's such an accomplished dribbler on this game. So, dribbling for me has to be a pro. And he's seen it in the other clip just there. He's shooting left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. He's got a five star weak foot that you see him bang on in with that weak foot his left. So he can bang it like the best in on this game. Long shots are very, very good. So from range, if you're kind of in a pickle, you don't know what to do, you're not very good at dribbling, you don't have the eye for a good pass because his vision is second to none. Honestly, if you see a pass, pass it because it will reach its destination. This card is a walking sat -nap. For me, better than Mesut Ozil. Team of the season Mesut Ozil. This card is better than that card in my opinion because he's so well rounded. Now what I was talking about was his shooting. Honestly, it's so damn good. He is very accomplished and he gets him right in the corners and that is one of the main kind of attributes with his shooting for me anyways. Control, his control on the entire game, look at that. Control coming out the skills as well. Unbloody believable. Agility, he is very agile and he can skip in and out of challenges and this makes the card very evasive and he's strong. One of the things to a kind of cams on this game, you don't normally get like strong cams. De Bruyne is strong, he can hold his own, he can shield the ball. Look at that volley, so much power behind that. A crack and strike there from Kevin De Bruyne. His movement, he is never static, he's never marked, and I love that about the card. His shooting, I've already spoke about, and his passing. Like I said, he'll walk in Santa. If you see a pass, pass it, because it will reach its destination, whether it be a through ball, whether it be a normal pass, whether it be a power pass. Honestly, De Bruyne is, for me, the best cam on this game. So we will get a rating of a 10 out of 10 and a value of coins of a 9.6. Lads, if you have enjoyed this review, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.